Hello guys welcome back to the channel i hope you all are doing extremely fine my name is prince and you are watching the tech stream in this video i am going to give you an in depth review of oxygen os 12 stable build for the oneplus 8 series devices i'll also address all the bugs and problems with this build so without wasting any more time let's get started if we go into the about info section you can see that the build number is c.20 which is oxygen os 12 stable build this build was released almost a week ago and since then i've been using it on my oneplus 8a and my overall experience has been really positive except for some small issues. First of all, the persistent delayed notification issue is still there. Earlier, I used to face this issue for Telegram and Gmail apps, but now this is only for Gmail. To get any notification from Gmail app, I have to open the app manually. The issue has been there since the release of Oxygen OS 12, and I don't know why OnePlus is taking so long to fix this one. Also, many users are reporting that the audio quality on Bluetooth earphones is not that good, but honestly, it has been amazing for me. The audio quality using Bluetooth earphones has been good and I face no issues as such. Moving on, the battery drain has been okayish and I'm getting almost 5 to 6 hours of screen on time on average without heavy gaming. I have not faced any battery drains as such and the same goes for the charging speed. My phone is able to charge from 1 to 100 in about 40 to 50 minutes which I think is fine. If you are facing major battery drains and slow charging speeds, I will suggest you to do a clean install on this build. Next up, there are some heating issues with this build and even the device starts jittering and lagging sometimes without any gaming. I mean it doesn't happen every time but yes there is some heating issue which was not the case with previous builds. Moving on, the fingerprint unlock and the face unlock works without any issues and and they are as fast as Oxygen OS 11. And the same goes for the camera application. No improvements has been done to the camera app and the camera performance is exactly the same as it was on Oxygen OS 11. The quality of the images and videos is also the same. Lastly, let's talk about the gaming situation. In BGMI, you can select 90 FPS from the setting, but as you can see in the FPS meter, the device is only capped to 60 FPS. And there is no way to enable 90 FPS in Oxygen OS 12 as of now. You get only 45 to 55 FPS while playing and not more than that. I would suggest suggest you to roll back to Oxygen OS 11 or install a custom ROM if you want to enjoy gaming on this device. So those are all the issues and problems that I am facing with this build. Overall the performance has been good and Oxygen OS 12 is usable now if you don't do much gaming. I just hope that they fix the gaming issues with the coming build. If you are facing any other issues, I will suggest you to clean install this build that will fix most of the problems. If you can't do a clean install, then waiting for the update is the only option. That's all for this video. Comment down if you are facing any other issues on Oxygen OS 12. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos thank you for watching